Hey guys, another day, another video. I better get moving fast because it's going to uh, rain hard in a few minutes. So guys, that's the progress on the um, tamarind. Look how beautiful it's coming along. The native Australian tamarind. Look at that. It's almost at three meters. I'm so happy with the um, result. There it is there. We want to see it at around <coughs> um, five meters by this time next year. And talking about um, progress, check out these jujube, Chinese dates. Huh? Look at that, beautiful. Not long to go before the first ones are ready. Another two weeks. Jujube, Chinese date. And this year it's going to be an epic um, harvest. Literally, I would say a thousand of them. So long as the parrots leave them alone, I'll be really happy. Anyway, we'll come back to the uh, jujube by um, the middle of March or the end of March. Not sure, but uh, it's looking really stellar. All right, today's video is on, and there's the... Uh, tamarind from this side look at that love it today's video is on the <coughs> jaboticaba jaboticaba which is the brazilian grape tree it's a tree that grows grapes not grapefruit but grapes and this is it here guys we only got one one fruit um this season Last spring it had uh, flowers all over, but the flowers dropped prematurely in October. So uh, a little disappointing. So gardening is um, a mixture of happiness and slight disappointments. But it's not the end of the world because there's always next season, right? So what I had to do here, because of the, well, you know who, the birds, I had to cover this sole jaboticaba just one just one this this time last year we last year we had about um, 20 when it fruited for the first time there it is isn't it beautiful there you go Brazilian grape tree or jaboticaba Jaboticaba. Mm. All right, what we're going to do now is pick it and eat it or taste it. So bear with me, guys, because there's a lot of trunks and branches here. Let's see if I can go close, really close. Uh, focus doesn't work it's not good so I'll put it out there and I'll just grab it yep it's a bit hard still I could have waited a few more days but it's gonna rain so I just want to get this done it's gonna rain for two days all right we got it now for you guys that don't know anything about this fruit, I didn't know anything about it either. I just bought it by chance 10 years ago and I kept it in a small pot. You know, it was like that small, like the lychee. It was this small for um, the first mm, three years. Very slow. Look at it now, after 10 years. Look at that. Look at that. After 10 years. So I went from that to this. You've got to be patient because it won't give you any fruit until um, seven or eight years. So I'm going to bite it now. Mmm, wow. Oh my god. 
Look at that. Amazing. Yep, I know I say amazing. Someone yesterday told me, you said the white sapote was amazing. That's not describing the taste. Yeah, you're right. Sorry about that. Okay. This tastes like a, this jabuticaba, it tastes like a grape. That's why it's called a grape tree. Mmm. Okay. It tastes like a grape mixed. Okay, it's a combination of grape and star apple. Are you guys familiar with star apple? Caimito. It's a combination of a grape and star apple. Or even abio, if you're familiar with abio. We're talking tropical fruit from the um, tropics. And this one is very rare, extremely rare. So, mm. and there's a seed in there somewhere. So, the only fruit we got this season. Okay, guys, so that's the Jabuticaba. I'm very happy that the tree is healthy. Look how healthy it is. It's getting a lot of new shoots in spring, in summer, in autumn. O almost the whole year the only time that it looks a little sad or when it's resting or not shining is winter only for three months does it go into a depressed look but the rest of the year it's like this it's just beautiful amazing so um, that's today's video I'm very excited about autumn guys uh, yesterday I said um, I love autumn more than summer for many reasons. Well, this is one reason. Rare exotic tropical fruits come usually here in Melbourne over autumn, not summer. The only tropical fruits we have in summer are um, Grumi Chama, Grumi Chama, Surinam Cherry, um, maybe a banana. But that's about it, not much. Not much going on with tropical fruit in summer. The tropical fruit season in Melbourne is in autumn. Autumn and winter. Yep, winter. Not summer, guys. Not summer. All right, so um, thanks for watching. Please put a like and subscribe if you haven't. The next video I'm gonna make will be on the progress of the daily's tropical fruits fruit trees here that you see. There's been a wonderful growth in the last week because of all the rain on the Panama berry and uh, three different varieties of papaya and much, much more. So make sure you stay tuned for the next video from Real Life Fruitopia. See you later, guys.